Hey YouTube, it's your girl Angel. I know I'm looking a hot mess, but it was either make this video now as soon as I wake up, or you didn't want to be done. You know, today is Easter. By the way, happy Easter, everybody. Um, and I didn't make a video last week, so I wanted to make one and get it out the way this week. Um, unless it wasn't even going to happen, to be honest. And as you guys see, I'm still in my robe and everything. It's like Sunday, and um, I actually know the Sunday being my way in day and my video day, it, it kind of make things difficult sometimes to make it on Sunday, because Sunday is my one day of the week that I actually don't work out and don't do anything, so it's my really, really lazy day. So that's why I didn't even get around to making a video last week. I just didn't feel like it, to be honest. Um, but last week, um, I was still now months post stop last week, and I'm still now months. This is the end of my now months post stop this week. So last week, I um, weighed, I actually lost three pounds last week. So I was two, I went from 224 to 221. And this week, I only lost one pound, so I'm 220. And that's because it's a time of the month. I'm surprised I lost one pound, honestly. Normally on that time of the month, I retain so much water weight that I never lose any weight on that time of the month. So I don't even count it. So I'm surprised I even lost one pound. So my current rate right now is 220. So I actually went through the whole 220s in one month. I wonder if I can do that for the teens next. So I'm excited about that. Um, I did decide, too, that I'm not going to keep on weighing myself like every single week um it's an accountability thing but at the same time it's like i'm getting over the point of wearing myself it's like okay i'm doing the right thing and i'm eating right i'm working out i'm not gonna be obsessed with the scale the scale do not make my life because i could actually feel it in my clothes i can feel everything obviously i'm losing weight so i'm not afraid of the scale but i'm just gonna lay off the scale for a little bit probably weigh myself maybe every two weeks maybe it once a month it just depends on when I get to that point where I feel like I have to weigh myself. But I know for at least the next two weeks, I'm not weighing myself because it, it's becoming a hassle. Like, I don't want the scale to be my priority. Um, let me see. What else did I have to talk about today? Well, I really look a hot mess, but whatever. <laughs> um, another thing is the only reason why I haven't changed my Sunday weigh-ins is because I think that Sunday weigh-in, having a Sunday weigh-in actually makes me accountable for what I eat on the weekend. Because if you screw up and eat everything that you want to eat on Friday and Saturday, if you weigh in on Sunday, it's going to show on the scale and your whole progress for the whole week is not going to be there. So that's why I want to keep my um, Sunday weigh-ins to make myself accountable. So I'm still going to weigh in on Sundays when I do decide to weigh-in because I know it's not going to be for a while and I'm tired of weighing in every week. Um... Let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I had to talk about here. Um, another thing is I want to talk about is I'm really starting to become comfortable in my skin. Like, it's to the point where I'm kind of don't want to look at the scale anymore because I'm so comfortable in my skin. I don't want to stop what I'm doing. You know how you get comfortable to that size that you are, and then you stop what you're doing, and then it's like a whole thing where you start creeping back up there because you, you got comfortable with that size instead of going down lower than your actual comfortability. But I'm getting so comfortable in my own skin that it's, it's crazy. Like It's kind of like a scary feeling for me because I don't want to get too comfortable to the point where I actually can't continue to lose weight or I don't want to continue to lose weight. So that's, for, that's why I'm laying off the scale. So I could just do what I do, work out and eat right and not think about it. Um, that way I won't know what my body is doing because the size that I am right now, guys, I am so comfortable in my own body. Like, I can honestly say that I love my body right now, like, really. Like, when I go outside, I just feel good. I wake up feeling good. My body feels so light, and it's just a wonderful feeling. Um, um what else? I had a thousand things to say, and I can't think of anything. Um, yeah, but as far as my weight loss, I'm keeping my water. Um, I'm doing 80 ounces of water a day. That's just mandatory. I make my make it a point. You can't get nothing, no food or nothing until you drink a bottle of water in between every meal. So that's my point, and that's what I do, and that's what's working for me. Um, my food, I am up to 1,200 calories a day, guys. I don't do the low-calorie stuff. I don't do all that. I eat 1,200 calories a day, So and that's working for me. It may not work for everybody else. And I may not be dropping seven, eight pounds like everybody is in one week, but it's working for me. 
Um, I normally have a steady pounds of like three pounds a week, and I'm fine with that because my body is and my skin is having time to catch up with my body. Um, I don't have a lot of excess skin. Maybe my arms, but that's fine. But my stomach and stuff like that, I don't have a lot of excess skin at all. Um, another thing is like the running and stuff. I absolutely hate running. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I hate running. I'm finally starting to learn how to breathe while I run, and it's making me be able to run a longer distance. But I personally hate running, but I'm going to keep on doing it until I get to my um my weight goal. After my weight goal, um, I'm not going to run anymore after I get down to my goal weight. I'm going to find some kind of other form of exercise, but for right now, I'm doing it because my body needs it. So it's a, um, a necessity to my body right now. Um, so I'm 220. That gives me a total of... 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I'm 75 pounds down today, guys. So 25 pounds left to that 100 pound mark. 75 pounds down today. Um, uh, and I did want you guys to go and check out a page for me. Um, it's a new subscriber. Her name is Nydia. Um, crap. I hope my time don't run out here, but I actually have to log into YouTube to get her username. Um, you know some. Actually, you guys, I'm going to actually link it in the sad link over here. Um, but I want you guys to check out her page. She's new to YouTube, but she is six months post op, but she's new to YouTube and she need some subscribers and, you know, somebody to walk her through it as we all do when we first start out. Her page is kind of like empty. She just made her first video. So I want you guys to check her out and, like, she needs some support here. So that's what we're here for on YouTube. Um... Another thing is, I did decide to name my band. Her name is Miss Stank. <laughs> That's right, my band name is Miss Stank. Um, because that every time I got the band, the more weight I lose, the more I feel like Miss Stank. So Miss Stank is working fine for me. <laughs> I know I sound all country when I say that Miss Stank, but that's my band name. Um, what else did I have to talk about, guys? I had like a thousand things here. I'm trying to look at my little list here. Um. My accountability, my accountability comes from my personal trainer. That's who keeps me center. Because even my, even though me personally, it's days I wake up, I do not want to work out, guys. I'm talking about, I wake up three hours before I have to, before I go to work and go to the gym. And then go to work for nine hours. So I do not be want to wake up in the morning. I'm not even going to lie. But that person training, knowing that he's going to have something to say with me not showing up, that makes me accountable. YouTube don't make me accountable because I just don't make a video that week. But, <laughs> but the personal training is what's making me accountable. So you have to find out what works for you guys. Everybody is totally different. Don't look at the next person and think that everything's going to work the same. You have to find out what works for you. Even food-wise, everybody eats totally different. I'm finding out what works for my body, what food I can eat for the rest of my life. So you have to figure out what works for you. You have to count calories. Let's just be real and be honest. Before I started counting calories, the little stuff that I used to think that didn't matter, that stuff was like, even like Taco Bell nacho stuff was like 800 some calories. So you have to know what you're putting in your mouth. I mean, even when I go over to people's house, if I don't know what calories are in those, I don't eat it. I'm not going to say I don't snack. I do. But I count everything that I put in my mouth. You have to be accountable for yourself. You can sit and tell yourself all kind of lies so that you're not losing weight. But really, it all comes down to you. So that's my word for today. And my video is about to run out. Sorry I came all jacked up to you guys today. But I'm going to talk to you next week. Bye.